Hello everyone, welcome to Property Zone Live again. It's Thursday, 8 p.m. Today we're gonna to cover the topic why getting the protection from your new board house is so important. Today actually we are very honored I get to invite the founder of Smart Choice Solution, Andrew Hui, to come and join us and give his sharing based on the certain question we're gonna ask him. Actually, just uh, on a personal note. Andrew and I know way back, we actually are ex colleague from AIA 15 years back. I was, uh, I was with AIA before, before I joined the property scene. And uh, Andrew stayed on, now he has actually developed a specialist in the mortgage plus protection side. So today we are very honoured to get a chance to invite Andrew. So Andrew, can you say hi to the audience? Hi everyone, good to see you all. Okay. So Andrew, can you tell us a little bit about your company, Smart Choice Solution? What does the company do as well, okay. a service you render? Okay, first of all, thank you for Sean for the opportunity. So uh, I'm Andrew here, the founder for Smart Choice Solution. It's a mortgage outsource company. So uh, in this line, we work as a team uh, about 18 years already. So we cover for mortgage and insurance also. So what we do, we help our customers to analyze, compare, and choose the best package in Malaysia Bank. Okay, good. So, let's come to the protection side. I think many people on the street are a little bit confused because when they buy a house, especially when they take a loan, there are certain different insurance they are considering. For example, some insurance are protect against the house. Okay. Some insurance are the protection for the people. Okay. All right. So, I believe that the one they cover for the house is called home Insurance. insurance, yes. Can you tell me a little bit about the home insurance? Okay. Actually, home insurance divide to uh, two. Number one is a fire insurance. Number two is the content insurance. Uh, what is mean is fire insurance. Fire insurance means just in case anything happen, uh, the house get fire, then we, the insurance company will pay for the cost for the, to build the house. Number two, for the content, maybe uh, got flood, uh, get fire, maybe uh, TV, furniture, Aircon, electrical, all will be covered as well. Okay. Uh, I think today we want to give a tips on how okay. to save a few hundred ringgits a year okay. on the insurance side. Okay. Many people buy house taking a loan from the bank. All right. So now let's take a look at the home insurance part. Some people who are actually buying, uh, staying in the condo, all right, they basically will get billed twice. Yes. Can you elaborate on how to save the money? Okay. On the condo side, a lot of people um, get a loan. The bank compulsory them to get a fire insurance uh, for the condo. But actually, the condo management already buy the fire insurance for them. But how to save the cost? You just get the certificate from the management side and email to the bank. Then they will automatically waive uh, the cost. A lot of people didn't realize that end of the day, they pay double insurance. So what I was saying, my, my personal experience is that you no, know, I stay in the condo and then you know, uh, every year, sometimes I forgot which month, then sometimes I have to check my statement. I know that the bank deducts a certain amount just for the home insurance part. But if I'm able to get a fire insurance, which is already bought by the management council, then I can get a copy of them and then I will email, I'll take a snapshot and email to the relevant department to the bank. Yes. Then they will waive the charge so that I don't have double pay. Yes, you are right. So, like for example, when you receive the statement, actually before that you already know when you're going to deal and when the management will issue the certificate. Just get them, give them or email to them in advance, then they will not charge in the statement. So that you can save a few hundred ringgit? Yes, you are right. Okay. Okay, let's come back to the mortgage insurance side. Um, why is it so important? This is the protection against the people who is buying the house and taking a loan from the bank. Why is it so important to get protection? Okay, so a lot of people um, buy property. It's their greatest investment in life. So, but a lot of people forget to uh, buy the, we call uh, MRTA or MLTA to protect the housing loan. 
So just in case anything happened to that to them, maybe uh, they forget to brief or migrate to another world. So who going to pay the instalment? So end of the day, the wife maybe is them is the is a housewife. Then they maybe will lay along the property. So this the insurance to protect the housing loan is so important. Okay, okay. So I think when it comes to protection side, in general, people on the street uh, have heard of this term called MRTA, MLTA. Yes. Can you share with us what are the difference and if the people are buying for own stay or they are buying for investment, which one is better for them? Can, mm. can you just share your insight? Okay. Most of the bank, they cover for the MRTA. So MRTA actually is uh, optional. Uh, some of the bank compulsory to have the MRTA to protect the housing loan, but some of them not. But MRTA, if suitable for the person who uh, buy the property for the long term. Okay, okay. Can you elaborate, maybe just share, well, what does MRTA stand for? Okay. MRTA, the stand for is Mortgage Reducing Term Insurance. So, like what I say, is for the person who maybe um, no dependent, they just uh, buy one house and stay forever, MRTA is very suitable for them. So MRTA will be better for own stayer? Yes. Okay. But for the MLTA, it's called Mortgage Level Term Insurance. So that one is suitable for the person who always buy the property or the investor. Like my customer, they keep on buying the property. Last time they just bought the MRTA. Then every time they change the house, they need to pay the MRTA again. Then they will cost a lot of money. Once they got the MLTA, they cover, then they can transfer to another property, to a property. So they save a lot of cost. So that one is suitable for the investor, investor also. Mm -hmm. Like my customer, they can buy the MLTA to 1 million to 2 million to cover maybe 4 to 5 houses. Mm. So just one MLTA can cover 5 property already. So you're looking about investor point of if they keep upgrading or changing a house, it's better to buy the MLTA. I think the main reason because you lock in at your entry age, right? Yes, then some more cheaper. Then end of the day, maybe uh, after 20 years, 30 years, you got a huge cash value like uh, for your retirement also can. Oh, basically there's a cash value built yes, up. Yes, you are right. Okay. Uh, okay, you say MLTA, MRTA. Let's focus on the MRTA. MRTA, you mentioned that, that uh, it covers when people migrate to another world. I like the word okay. you say, huh? migrate to another world. But is there any other we call riders or anything tech on benefit you can add to it? And why is it so important? Okay. For the MLTA, a lot of people um, just get the MLTA, MLTA, just cover for the death and total murder total permanent disability, but they forget about the 36 critical units. Actually, the MLTA, you can include the 36 critical units. Like, just happened to one of my customers, uh, cancer. So, lucky he got the critical units inside the MLTA. So, for the past five years, he don't need to pay any single cent for the installment. So what happens if this critical illness protection is lumped together? So, if it's diagnosed with the cancer or one or 36 critical illness, that means the company will pay, insurance company will pay the full lump sum to the beneficiary. Yes. And yes. then the, the, the policy consider, contract consider done. Yes. Okay. Like MRTA, normally they will cover uh, the loan only. But the MLTA, because the sum assured is level, so maybe uh, you insured about 1 million, maybe the loan after finish, almost about 500,000. So another 500,000, you cover for the loan first, another 500,000 will be passed for, to the family member for their living expenses also. Ah, okay, okay, thank you very much. For those of you who are watching, uh, please be aware, we are basically giving out this week prizes, and this week prizes is actually a hand blended food processor. Uh, who will win this? What's the criteria of, of walking away with this? It's basically the one who actually watch this and share the most will walk away with this hand blended food processor. Okay, let's come back to the session. No, can you tell us, I think you're dealing with a lot of the mortgage side as well. Yes. So if people buy the house and mm. taking a loan from the bank, mm. okay, is it compulsory by the bank to include the MRTA inside? Mm. Actually, uh, most of the bank is optional. But some of the bank, yes, compulsory. But without, like what you say, if the customer not wish to take the MRTA, Yes, maybe got some different rate will be charged on that. 
Normally, what's the rate like? Uh, about 0 0.05. So do you think, in your opinion, you think it's worth how to get the MRTA with extra protection and also a saving on the rate as well? Yes. If you're uh, looking for the protection, it's a wise to take the MRTA or MLTA. Mm, okay. Okay. So, Andrew, tell yes. us a little bit more. Mm. Okay. So when you say you put a, a critical illness and uh, with the life insurance protections for buying the house, anything else they should consider? Okay. Um, because a lot of people maybe uh, think about the MLTA very expensive. Correct. If you compare to MRTA, because MRTA we can finance inside the loan. So uh, over the tenant about 35 years, yes, it will be cheaper. But the MLTA, yes, very high. But the, you can pay by monthly, quarterly, semi-annually or yearly. So uh, in terms of um, long-term wise, uh, we all wise the MLTA to protect the housing loan. Okay, okay. So I have this one example. Hmm. So this example basically is uh, the one we just discussed now. There's one case that people bought a house, one million, they took a loan, 900,000, okay. all right? They get a MRTA protection, okay. right? So unfortunately, when the people passes on, hmm. then the family realizes that there's actually a shortfall. Hmm. And what is the reason behind it? Uh? Okay, like a lot of people buy the MRTA, um, a lot of people just buy the minimum, maybe five years, 10 years, but the rate they covered maybe on interest 4%, if the BLR or base rate up to 5 or 6%, actually the MRTA insurance is not enough to cover the housing loan. And all day, maybe not enough to cover the housing loan, what, I, what, what you said just now. Ah, okay. uh, so what should the customer do in this case? How to get better protection for themselves? Uh, customer, if possible, can review uh, from time to time, maybe by yearly basis, whether the protection is it enough or not. If the MRTA not enough, maybe we can consider as a MLTA to add on. Okay, okay. Thank you for your info. Mm. And then the last thing, the last thing I want to ask you is, you're talking about the MLTA. So basically, I think you share with me that you're buying a lot of houses, no, as an investment also. So buying the MLTA, basically when you log in and your entry age, so would, would the premium increase as your age increase? Okay, like what you say, um, I got almost about 11 property. Okay. So um, how much my summer shirt, uh, I cover almost about three to four million. Whoa. Just in case anything happen, at least my wife, my children, no need to worry about this. Okay. So like just how uh, you mentioned um, the MLTA, so this is what we cover for the family member. Okay, but the age, the, the, for example, you are yeah. 40 this year, for example. Do you have to pay more when you're 41? Do you have to pay more when you're 42? Yeah, like for example, MLTA, the premium will be level. So when you log in at 10 years ago, five years ago, so the premium will be the same. So even though after 10 years, 20 years, you bought another property, the premium you pay still the same. So we will be saved a lot of money for in the future. So in this case, if people who want to start their property investment mm -hmm. journey yeah. at their early stage, yes. it's always a good idea mm. to buy a MLTA protections yeah. to ensure because when you buy the MLTA, you log in at an early age yes. and then the premium will stay on. Even your yes. age increase. Yes. Nobody you know, get younger yeah. every day. Yeah. So getting the house earlier, you get an appreciation. Mm. Getting the MLTA for the protection, you basically lock in the age and then you lock in your premium. It will not, it will not increase even you get older, yeah. is it? Yeah, recently we got a lot of customers uh, bought the MLTA. Just pay for 5 years, 10 years or 20 years. Maybe i give you an example. My customer, a lot of people, they bought the MLTA with 10 years plan. Then maybe just pay about 15000 Correct. Just in case, like you pay for 10 years, about 150000 Nothing happen, you almost about get about double. So if anything happen, you get one million. Due to accident, you get two million. Private transport, you get three million. Due to natural disasters, you can six million. So three so times or six times. My customer take this kind of MLTA. Okay, okay. So uh, last one, last question. Okay. So if you put the protection side, because you also specialize in mortgage, okay. can you tell us a little bit more about the current lending guideline by the banks? that are they very 
uh, still very tight in lending or what are the ways you can just share with us increase the chance of getting the loan okay. approval? Recently, bank quite strict on the uh, requirement. But if you can focus on these two things, your loan will be easy to get approval. Number one, your commitment. Okay. Okay. Number two, your payment behavior. Okay. With this, there should be no problem to get your loan approval. So some of them, my customer, uh, they can come to us, we will give a wise with fee of charge. So we just uh, monitor um, their income document for three months to six months. So easy to, for them to purchase the property. Okay, talking about the commitment, uh, recently our housing minister basically mentioned that uh, they will take away the PTPTN. Hmm. Is this in effect yet based on your understanding? Okay, uh, PTPTN is considered one of the, the commitment. commitment also. But a lot of my customer they forget to pay the PTPTN. But actually, bank, uh, if you go to the PTN, just restructure the loan, then bank will consider... Uh, Irregularized. Get, yes. Then and get you, your How long do you need to wait? Let's say, for example, I have an house and I've not been paying very well, yes. my PTPTN. But let's say I go to PTPN, yes. I restructure it. Do I have to wait for a certain period so that no, it will reflect on a good payment behavior? Like my customer, five years. No paid PTPTN before. After five years, just go to the PTPTN department and restructure, then the loan will get approval. But recently, we do a lot of uh, refinancing and debt consolidation. Why? A lot of customers got a lot of uh, debts or property. Maybe i give you an example. Mm. I got one restaurant owner. He got three apartments, own about 100,000, 100,000, 200,000. Get the card, own 200,000. Personal loan, get 100,000. Wow, but it's almost here already. Yes. Yeah. Car loan, car loan about 90,000. Lucky he got one bank loan worth about 2 million. All right. But existing loan about 200,000. Then we refinancing can up to 80%. On the 2 million, 1.6. He said no need, only 1.2. The 1 million, I settle all the debts. Okay? Okay, at lower then, rate as well. Yes, another the 200,000 is for the company cash flow. Mm. Okay, so for the commitment about 15,000, now reduced to 6,007. 15,000. Money commitment to six thousand seven. Oh, there's almost sixty yes. percent saving. But the owner keep on paying ten thousand because the two hundred thousand cash the company cash flow is uh, earn a lot of money for that. But after one year, he go and buy another one million property with ninety percent. Why? All the debts become one loan already. After one year, he go and buy another property. Consider second, second loan. loan. So there then is not subject to the seventy yes. percent yes. loan to value. Then he get ninety percent. Oh, okay. Do you, do you charge on that? We are free of charge. Okay, so just get you for the consultants. Yes, thank you. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching. Again, we want to walk away with this big prize, which is the hand blended food processor. Don't forget to click share. The person with the most share will walk away with this prize. With this, uh, we will conclude our session today. Thank you again, okay, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye.